what's up guys welcome back to drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to recover deleted messages on your messenger and this is within facebook right so what you want to do guys you want to open up the facebook application on your phone and you want to click on your profile picture on the uppermost right hand side in some cases it can be on the lower right hand side you will see the three dots the three lines there which signify the burger menu so you want to click on that then from there, scroll down to where it says settings and privacy. You want to tap on that. And then from there, you want to click on settings. Now, under settings, guys, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says download your information. You want to click on that. And from there, simply click on continue. From here, you will see the options to download and transfer your information, right? So you can go ahead and you can use the current activity and you can go and also select schedule it's up to you right i'm going to currently leave it under current activity and all you have to do now is just simply go ahead and click and download or transfer information from there you will have you will see all of your accounts right so you want to go ahead and clear all to ensure that if you want to select it for a particular one you want to deselect them and then select the appropriate one i'm going to choose the insta the facebook account for this example right and then i'm going to click on next then from here you want to select choose a specific type so you want to go ahead and select the option that says specific type of information and then from here you will be able to select messages so you want to click on messages here by selecting the messaging box there by checking that and then click next and from here you have two options you can transfer to destination or you can download to device right so i'm going to leave it to download to device there and i'm going to select next and from here guys you can play around with the date range so you can choose last year you can also go ahead and you can click on that and you can select last week you can go even three years in advance right so i'm going to select it let's say i want it for the last three months and i'm going to click on save right then from here as well you want to have the option you want to select where to notify you so you can go ahead and ensure that you have the correct email address selected there and you want to ensure that the format type is set to html right if you click on it you also have the json file format but for you it would make more sense if you select the html format so it's easily readable and this can be read within the browser as well for the media type quality you want to leave it as medium of course there is also high and low but medium is always suitable and it's also work then from here you just simply need to click create file and once you click the create file guys all you have to do is just simply go ahead and wait from there as you can see it is requested here right and all you have to do is wait normally it will take few hours so you just need to come back here and check and give it about two to three hours sometimes depending on the speed it can take up to half a day or a day but we'll just come back here follow the steps and check and from there you will see once it's available you'll also be notified by email as well and you will be able to view that information and that's all there is to it guys very easy and very simple